Assalamu alaikum lovelies. What we have today? Let's read together. Uh, I got my visa within one month due to reciting Surah Al-Baqarah. She's been, or he, uh, been reciting Surah Al-Baqarah for one month and um, he got his visa or she got his, her visa. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Okay. Um, Assalamu alaikum sister. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to tell you after struggling for four years, I got a job. After four years of struggling, she couldn't find a job or he, he or she. Because mainly I just um, cut off the name. So uh, I, he or she got a job after four years. They've been trying for four years. And um, all this happened only reciting far countless. So no number of far. Rabbi Ghfirli or Astaghfirullah, you can find the main video in my pinned uh, video on the top of my page. One more we can say here. Um, thank you, sister. You're more than welcome. And this is very true. Um, I've been reading Surah Al-Baqarah and doing Istighfar both. Al-Baqarah and Istighfar. And doing Istighfar and I have seen miracles in my life, subhanAllah. She's been doing both of them, and then she said, um, "Mindset is uh, is everything." That's I took before how to change, uh, or you have to change your, your mindset. So uh, Allah is a greatest, greater than us, and all our problems and anything is possible through Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That was the three testimony I just want to share with you guys. The other thing is, if you start to recite Surah Al-Baqarah, you will be forced to change your lifestyle. It's not going to be optional for you to accept something you really don't like. And that is from my experience, actually. I don't know if you guys have the same thing or not. But for me, um, I since I started to recite Surah Al-Baqarah, I've been forced to do stuff. And that was really a huge change for me. Mainly, we like to, you know, we, we're scared to try, to try something uh, new or we're scared to get out of our comfort zone. But once you start so far or once you start specifically Surah Al-Baqarah, you will be forced to go for better, to move for better, to try something is better for you. So, seriously, that is, it, it does work. Um... One sister was asked as well that um, if you, you said that whatever you want, you can get like Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu, son of grandson, grandson of Umar bin Khattab, Hazrat Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu. And she said, but in the other video, you said the lady, she want to stay with her, with, with her husband, but he divorced her. Uh, this is a little bit like, uh, you know, it's uh, not the same thing. I said, yeah, this is actually correct. Hazrat Omar radiallahu anhu, he want to marry Fatima because he knows Fatima is his cousin and she was the best. She was a very fantastic lady and a wife. And even the, the history wrote her, you know, uh, wrote that she, she was doing a great job in terms of Islam and belief and stuff like that. So he knows what he choose, but you guys don't. He don't. You, you're not Omar, actually. You don't. You need to, you need to sometimes, yes... I said to Omar, Hazrat Omar, just to tell you that you need to aim high. But he was wisdom, he has got wisdom, he has got wisdom, but we don't. So once we said, when the lady said, okay, I just want to stay with my husband, she doesn't like the way he treated her. But but in the meantime, she doesn't like to get divorced because in her limit belief, okay, if, if he divorces me now, no one will accept me as to marry me with three kids. And this is very limit, uh, limit expectation and um, limit thought. So Hadrat Omar has a broad thought. He said, I want to be Khalifa. I want to be a Khalifi. I want to rule the whole Muslim thing. And actually, his time was perfect. His oh, Hadrat Omar ibn Abdulaziz, his time, his Khalifi time, was amazing, amazing period of time. If you guys go and do research about him. Is amazing time. But when you accept something, the lady accepted to leave an, an unhealthy, a toxic marriage and toxic marriage and unhealthy life just to, you know, she, just for the kids. But Allah actually has different plan for her, a good plan for her because she planned wrong from the first place. So I said, you will get what you want if this if is it good enough for you. But if it's not, then Allah will give you something even better. 
Allah inshallah will give you something even better one you better than what you think because you think actually sh I need this th I need this thing I need this thing and you just attach to that but Allah knows that something else is better more than this it's good for you and you deserve it so I will give it to you yeah this is a, this is a point why you read Surah Al-Baqarah and uh, Istafar and why you you know you, you ask Allah to help you this is the main different as well between the um, you know that self-motivation books uh, self-development books and when you go to Istighfar and Surah Al-Baqarah self-development it give, it might give you like a beginner luck and it, 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 it will work with you for some extent but it will give you what you want whether it's good or bad but when you do Surah Al-Baqarah and Istighfar you will get only the good thing for you even if it's not the same form you ask it for this is a, not the same person you ask for maybe you get it if it's good for you maybe you get someone better if it's not good for you Allah will give you all of the best, all of the, the good stuff for you to improve your life. Because you ask him for help. You come back. You use his tools. So the, the, the guidance, the, he, he give it to you. So basically, it's, it's just about how you think about the stuff. If you have enough information and you, you know this is good for you. You have done, you know, all your... When, when Hazrat Omar chosen to marry Fatima, he knows she's um you know a, a lot of a lot of information about her he knows who is fatima bint abd al malik ibn marwan he know who is fatima and everyone want to marry her at that time but you guys stick with a guy or with a lady and she's give you hard time and you, you okay i want her i want her i want her and once you, i have a friend she she loved the guy and she uh, she she reverted to islam because she want to marry him and after like 2 years she got divorced after Two years from it was really toxic marriage for her and it's ruined her life completely for years for years so she got what she wants actually but the thing is it wasn't good for her so this is the main point between self-development thing I, i'm not against self-development at all i'm not we, we have this part but uh, what i just again say is do not rely upon this kind of books completely yes you can read in self-development books sometimes when you feel down but when you want to apply, when you want a good tool, then take what Allah gave you. Surah Al-Baqarah, Istighfar, As-Salatu Ala Nabi. Give what Allah takes take you. But no harm actually to read from um, the self-development books. Um, I used to run a show in a radio show here in London. And I used to summarize all these books. I did enjoy some of them to read, actually. Yeah, this is the message for today. Enjoy, guys. And I'll see you again, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.